Hi, I'm Keith Lusinski with the Petzl Technical Institute in Salt Lake City. Today we'll be looking at using the ASAP lock in the context of belaying from the anchor. The ASAP and ASAP lock are designed for anyone working on rope. In normal function, the ASAP lock allows the rope to travel through the device in both directions and locks onto the rope in the case of sudden acceleration. One benefit of the ASAP is that in the case of sudden acceleration, it does not require manual intervention to lock on the rope, thereby reducing the chance of human error. A few things to think about before we commence our raising and lowering operation. First, we always want to do a function check to make sure that we've loaded the rope properly through the device. We also want to ensure that we're using the proper energy absorber with sufficient capacity for the load at the end of the system. We need to install a redirect on the tail end of the rope. This both ensures proper rope travel through the device and allows us to manage slack in the system. And we also want to make sure that we have sufficient clearance in front of the device to allow full deployment of the energy absorber. To demonstrate using the ASAP as a belay, I'll have Nate here helping me operate the main line. While Nate gets set up, I've already done my function check with the ASAP to make sure it's oriented properly on the rope. I have my redirect carabiner in place, and I'm using the ASAP absorber axis energy absorber, which has a 250 kilogram capacity. All right, main line ready? On belay? Belay on. While belaying with the ASAP, it's imperative to not allow slack to develop in the system. If you need to go hands-free using the ASAP lock, you can engage the lock switch to position the ASAP on the rope. If you're using the regular ASAP, you can tie a knot in the tail end of the rope behind the device. Now we'll demonstrate using the ASAP to belay in a lowering situation. While Nate's breaking down his haul system, I'll check to make sure that the ASAP lock is unlocked. And then providing a belay for the lowering operation is as simple as providing back tension on the tail of the rope to ensure that excess slack does not develop in the belay line. Main line's ready. On belay? Belay ready. Down. Belay. Belay off. And that's how you belay with your ASAP on the anchor. For complete information, please refer to your technical notice and the tech tips on Petzl.com.